Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 of the Big Build Hill Mega Aquarium. Uh, apologies, it's been a few extra days longer between episodes than I planned. Uh, I, had to meant, I had meant to, sorry, do it over the weekend, but then I got a, a lovely sickness bug in the household. I had to uh, do some uh, parental duties to sort that out. But we are clear, we are free of all of that. So now we're back on to our Mega Aquarium and the big news for this episode is that I think I worked out which mod was causing the problem with these damn supply uh, cabinets. And as you can see, the supplement cabinets are now back down to 675. So effectively, I had two mods in, in installed and running that were practically the same thing, but one was an older version and one was the newer version. And the newer version was the one that sorted out the problem with this, and the old version was obviously the one that was seemingly overwriting the other and making it very, very expensive. Uh, this also... Uh, backpack dispenser is actually not low. I thought that was also going to be changed, but I think that is being clearly powered by a different mod. Um, so, yeah, so we are all good on the supply uh, or the supplement cabinet, I should say. So if we do want to get that mantis shrimp, wherever it is, where are you? Where are you, you little devil? You're here somewhere. There it is. The peacock mantis shrimp, that's, and the de decorator crab as well. Also need supplements, so we are now actually able to do just that. So, uh, let's quickly recap where we are. So we are now just beginning to now expand into our uh, sort of Greek area, if you like. And we are now also going to be pushing this way now. So the idea is, is that we're going to bring people down this way here, and then we're going to have tanks kind of all the way along and a big long walkway um, as they come down this way, and then we'll bring them back around once more. So, uh, we are going to need a fair amount of money to do all of this. Logan has leveled up. Let's give him some cleaning bits and pieces. Uh, we don't want to do that trade. I think I'm just, for the most part, I'm just going to be declining most of those trades now. It was kind of cool and unique at the start, but I've suddenly realized actually how much there is that I've already got that I haven't actually put in yet. I, I simply don't need those trades. I, I just don't think it's worth distracting myself with unnecessary side objectives. I've got enough of them as it is. Uh, right, so build a tank with and his chit lids point value of 160. Add animals until the combined value of the tank is at least 160. Does it does it want me to put other fish in there as well? Do these like being I mean they're bullies? Take up tenth. Can't find a flat surface to breed. What do they need then? Do we have anything that's... Oh, a flat slate apparently will do it. There we go. So we're going to get some baby chitch lids. But I think this wants me to put in... The annoying thing is, is that these generate science points. They don't actually generate... Um, plant points, ecology points. Ah, yes, I remember now. I got the... Uh, Yes, yes, I remember. I wanted to get the large walkover tank so I could have them walk over and then have some more tanks there. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Right. These will grow up to 18. Do I have enough space in here? Is this going to... Oh, you can't replace some fresh water. It's a fresh water job. Do I have enough space in here to house any of these? These need to be shoulders. I have to share with at least two different species of animal. They do like negative. None of them will go in. Well, that's the only one that could go in. They are they are oh, they bullies. That's okay. They can be they can bully with the other guys, but they're science ones. God damn it! Okay, well we're not going to be able to complete that one for a while. Uh, right. Well, now we've got this bad boy, this bridge tank. How big can we make you? Oh, look at that, baby! Right, we can have... Oh, I didn't actually mean to... Okay. I didn't actually mean to build that straight away. Actually, could I just not do... Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, can we... Okay, he's going to want me to delete these. Let's undo this little lot. Can I please? Right now I can do that. 
There we go. Uh, right, let's quickly redecorate. Uh, do we have a do we have the different pebble substrate at the bottom of that again? Yeah, let's do let's do that. There we go. Right. So, what are we going to put in here, and where on earth are we going to put everything? Where are we going to house everything? I think we probably house the. Do we do it from this side? Maybe you know what? Maybe we do. Maybe we do do it from this side. Do it from around here, like this. And then we need to decorate everything on the ground. Like so. And then we need a we need a door. Where's our doors? Please, camouflage door. Have that there. Also needs painting. It'd be nice if it if it would know. If it would uh, understand, like if it's placed on top of something that's already themed, just colour the door straight away as that theme colour. Right, so we can already, and one thing we're also going to need to do, which I quite like doing this, is having is having this. It doesn't really make a great deal. It's, just, it's slightly too low, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll leave that as it is. That's fine. Uh, right, so what are we going to put in there? I mean, we could look, now that we've got that, uh, where was it, the RO machine. We can make the water more acidic. And we can put some of these fish in there. And I reckon we can probably put the vast majority of these in here. We're going to leave time running in the background just so that we can build up a little sum of money. So, what are the things we're looking for? So, we've got a bully here. How we do, here? do we have any wimps? Are there any wimps in the camp? It doesn't look like it. That can't go in there because that requires neutral water. So it's these three that can. And they're all quite small fish, aren't they? They are. All three of them are shoulders. So they can all go together. But. There's not going to be any. For, for a tank like that, I kind of feel like you need a very. You know, a couple of kind of big fish in there. I don't know if we've got any big fish coming that go into cold water. No, it doesn't look like we do. So what do we think? Do we put all of those in there? I mean, we're going to have eight of those, six of those, and five of those. I mean, that's already... That's 19 different fish, and they're all breed... Or two of them are breeders. Uh, how big is the tank? 275. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Uh, okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. And now, we, now we need to pause. This wasn't a this wasn't a good idea. Actually, we should have waited. How many? How many did they need? They needed eight. Okay, you can have ten. Right. Let's get let's get these things in straight away. So, what do we need? We need we need an RO machine. Holy shit! We're gonna need a lot of RO machines. Why is that not linked to that? We're going to need a lot of RO machines, everybody. We're going to need two more of these damn things. I wasn't quite aware just how many of those RO machines we would need. And they're also, from memory, they break, yeah, break down every five days. We need to hold an RO membrane. Breaks down this object will break down on average once every five days. When this happens, it will need to be fixed by a staff member with a fixing roll holding an RO membrane. Do we have an RO membrane somewhere? Oh, we do. An RO membrane dispenser. We're going to stick a fucking shit ton of them in there because we're going to need them. And we're definitely going to need at least one, possibly even two more people in this area to do fixing. Just for this tank alone. Right, so that's that. And this is before. I mean, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to extend this further out, you know, to give ourselves some more room here.
Um, oh God, I'm running out of money. As I said, I didn't actually want to do that. I might have to delete these fish. I think I'm going to have to delete these fish quickly and, and wait. I didn't mean to. I didn't actually mean to plop those fish in, but yeah, I don't have enough money. But we do need some big heat units. Thankfully, we did unlock. Where is it? Oh, we're still, oh no, we're still unlocking it here. So we can wait for that thing to finish because that's going to be pretty huge because that gives us 100 on filter and on heat, which is good. Um, we're probably going to put, in which case, put that somewhere more like that because we're going to need probably two of each minimum. Uh, right, and while we're just looking at this, what, what do they need? So they need brine shrimp, so do they, and they need bloodworm. Uh, right, so bloodworm dispenser. Brine Shrimp Dispenser. Okay, so that's those two. That's fine. And while we're in here, we'll just put a... Just put a tool station in here anyway. Just because why not. And do we need anything else in there? I don't think we do. We might... This. I mean, given the sheer number of fish that are in there, we might... It might be the first time that a backpack dispenser could be beneficial in there. Not that we can afford one right now. But it is worth just keeping that in mind. Right, let's just continue to unlock all of that lot. We're almost there on the big heater. Jesus Christ, right, everyone's leveling up. Uh, I'm going to assume you're doing that. Compass for sale. Five compasses for 300. Um, no. Need the money. I need every penny I can get right now. Oh, good Lord. What are you? What do we think you're doing? You're probably doing a bit of everything, aren't you? So we'll, we'll give you the, uh, the skills. These people are getting very, very proficient in certain ones of those. Um, super chill species. We don't need to worry about that for the time being. Minus Chichli, the Minus Chichli one have spawned in tank 18. It's all the care requirements for the survival. Let's go and take a quick look then. Um, we'll, we will take, we'll take a double filter. Right, so let's have a quick look, shall we? Can we see? Oh yeah, they're they're in there. They're on the ground. So why is it they needed the flat surface if they're all hiding down there? Right. What are, what do these things need? As a base daily survival rate of seventy two percent, it's currently being affected by the following conditions. None. At the end of the day, seventy two percent of the babies will survive. Reduces survival rate for each predator present. Any animals with a size of five or less will pre uh, predate predate on eggs. Uh, and fry, with the exception of parents. If the parent is present, it will protect them for the f from the first 7%. So there's th 13 babies right now. That is going to be one very full-up tank if they, if a, if a good chunk of them survive. So we'll keep a, um, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, let us uh, get rid of that one. Right, to carry on. How long does it say they would take before they grow? Three days. Right, stick, stick those in. He's two seventy-five, so we actually need, we need another one. Like so. There we go. Right, okay. So we've we've dealt with all of the requirements now, so now we probably can start putting those fish in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's their problem? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um and of course we are gonna have to open up this side. Um for the, actually, no, we don't have to open it up just yet. We can just let them settle. Once we get enough money, we can start putting in other tanks and then bring people through that, that way. Uh, right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we don't have enough money. Fine. So they need six to be happy. Which is fine.
Right, so they're a bit more happy now. So it's just the plant lover that's the problem for them at the moment. Uh, we are, however, going to put in... Where's my staff? Staff are down here. Uh, right, you can come in from a fixing perspective. You can come in for feeding. So can you. I want to have one more fixer as well. We can find somebody. Come on, let's find somebody who's got a good base to start with. Am I fixing? I don't have to be you. Okay, fine. Right. Should be all these people down here. Christina, you are in there. Lucy, you were already there, but fine, you can move again. You can come in there as well. As can you. Zone 3 is about to be extended. To cover all that lot. It will also cover all of that at some point as well. So we'll put that in. Um, right, so Christina, since your talent is feeding... That is all you are going to do. Uh, I think that's one of the feeding stuff, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, and then who have we got here? We've got Lucy. You are our fixer. So, yep, you can use the RM membrane. That is absolutely fine. Uh, Ashley... You are also going to be a feeder. And April, you are a fixer. Like so. And zone-wise, you are all going into zone three. Right, there we go should mean that they all get cracking. Hilariously, they're not going to use the, uh, <laughs> the slot there. I wonder, actually, rather than... Uh, I just think... No, don't delete that. This might be really fucking careful here what I do and don't delete. I wonder if it's worth putting up walls here like this so that they don't know what it is they're walking into I like that idea so it's like an enclosed space okay, running out of money somewhat come on give me some more money How much is a, uh, a section of wall? I'm going to say, why is it so expensive? Actually, I don't think it's even letting me... Oh, I know what. Idiot. It's because that's there. I'm proud of myself that I did that without accidentally deleting the tank. Uh, right. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. There we go. So we've got this kind of walkway across here where they kind of don't know what they're going across and then they'll look either side and see a tank full of fish. Now we've only got two types of fish in at the moment so I need to get the other ones in there. Which was... Oh, it's Adolph's Corey. It's finally time to get these guys in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much did they need? They wanted five, didn't they? They can, have, they can have seven in there. So, I mean, the tank itself is, I mean, it's barely full at all. I mean, we can, we can, we can get away with sticking more of these guys in there. Uh, and then we just need to, we just need to now just decorate it. So we can finally stick some of these things in here, like the, uh, the bogwood pieces and the java ferns. 
which will help with the acidity of the water as well, which is kind of cool. lose quite a lot of money each month now. <laughs> I think all of those machines that we've just brought in are, have uh, really um, really pushed our monthly maintenance costs up somewhat. I have to keep a little eye on this. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew here. Because the money doesn't exactly come back that quickly. Right, are they all happy? They are all now happy. Every one of those fish is now over the moon with life. Right, so that is that done. That is good. Uh, let's just close those down. So, do we want to start bringing people into here? I think maybe we probably do. Do we actually, do we, do we keep it? Yeah, I think maybe we do keep it a little bit more. It's difficult to say what I think is best. Do we, do we bring it out a little bit and make them walk around it a bit so they kind of don't see what's coming? I think maybe we do. Uh, so that's fine. force them to just to walk around a little bit more right so now then we have a slight problem in that we've got everybody who's coming over this side and who will begin to make their way out over this side is now going to find themselves in no man's land over there there is literally nothing over there and i don't really have the money to start putting things in just yet second was it so something is it's this chitch did fry right so the three days have gone past it's now into the, the fry stage where are they oh they're little tiny little fish now that you can see them tiny tiny little fish swimming around only five babies remain from the, what was it, 13, 14 that started? It's quite quite the death rate. And I think also this should force my staff to use this little opening here to do the feeding. It is, it is indeed. Good. <gasps> or they'll just stand on the top and do it like that. Either or, it's fine. Yeah, here we go. Look, so some of these membranes need need sorting already. Which is fine, because we've got so many of these damn machines and we've got plenty of stuff in there. It is highly unlikely that this is ever going to get to a point where the water is not acidic enough. Right, so we're actually we're doing uh, we're doing well, okay. Oh god, more spawning is happening. We're doing okay money-wise, which is good. We are Turning a, turning a nice profit still, which means it shouldn't be too long 
before we can think about expanding further with more tanks. So let's just uh, begin as the preparations. We are also going to, where is zone 3? Zone 3 now needs to come on that lot as well. Let's just do that now while we, so we can prepare. And fish wise, what have we got to put in? Freshwater fish is only uh, the blind cave te tetras. We could have a small tank for those, couldn't we? Saltwater fish, we've still got we've got quite a few. And now of course we can put in these as well. So we've got those big ass fish, which would have kind of been nice to put those in there, to be honest. Those big ones, they're 18 size. So we could do with another one more big tank to maybe put those guys in. And maybe the angel fishes as well. Since they are not going they're gonna have absolutely no problem being with each other as long as they're in a big enough tank. And I think these guys can probably go in there as well. Yeah, so we can have a big old tank. Can we can we even fit those ones in there? Can we have can we have another bridge tank? Boxfish, can you go in there? I think you can, you know. I think all of those fish there, all four of those fish can go into the same the same tank. That is gonna be a lovely little tank. Right, that's our next plan then. God everyone, they're all breeding. It's just a fucking orgy in this in this aquarium here at the moment. Where are they? Where are they all? It's just littered with very scary looking one-eyed eggs. Okay. So the big question is then is do, do I try and do another one of those? Or do we just have like a big old Belfast tank like that one? For them to walk around. I mean, it's going to need to be big. Whatever we choose, it's going to have to be big. Because we've got... They're not shoulders, are they, any of them? No, but if we want to get at least a couple of them... Let's say we get four of those. I mean, that's, what, 72 in size? Four of those is 72 if they're fully grown. Get a bunch of those. Let's say five of those. That's 20. That's 92. Four of those, that's another 44, so that's 130 odd. So yeah, it's going to have to be a big old tank. So it's going to have to, a deep observer tank might just do it if we just calm down the number of fish that we have. Even a floor tank might do it as well. Maybe we go for a deep observer tank and just chill out on the number of fish that we use. I don't think we've got any other types of tank coming. No, have we? None that are going to be for what we're looking for. And there we go. Two more fully grown fish. Nine and ten. So at the moment, everything is okay in there because we've got a bit in hand for the uh, the water quality, the heat, everything else, the plants, etc. But if they keep <laughs> if they keep uh, breeding, we might have to um, start selling some of those fish. Maybe we can turn that into a bit of a, a Midas Chichlid farm and just start selling them. Right, okay, I think we're at the point then where we can start thinking about what we're going to do a bit more seriously. I don't want to put another bridge tank in. As cool as it would be to have like straight away going into another one. I mean, it, it would be cool, wouldn't it? Maybe having it here. Maybe having like another one there. Maybe having another one like over here and then having some ones in the middle. So as they come over the bridge, they've got like a tank almost either side. 
and then another bridge tank to kind of finish off this little the Greek area, and then they can move on into the next into the next zone. That could be, that could be the answer. So, in that case, when you start looking at these, something a bit smaller to put in. These are crustaceans, so the hermit crab could go in with this one, I think. So we can have those two in one side. It will eat a crustacean. Are you a crustacean? You are. Size 1 to 8. Oh, God. That, that mantis shrimp is an absolute menace, isn't it? I think that's going to have to go in on its own, you know. I could go in with the with the polyps, though. It's a heavily armoured. It literally can't be eaten by anything, but it will eat lots of other things. So I think... We go that one in with this one and then those two together. I think that is what's going to happen. And they're a scavenger as well, so they don't actually eat anything, but they'll eat the leftovers from the krill that the crab eats. Okay, so that's that's the plan then. So what we're going to do, we're going to have two... How big do these wall, how big do these wall tanks get? Yeah, they're quite big. That will do. So two of these... I've just pushed that guy the other side of that wall, uh, like so. Do we want a deep? We don't want a deep wall tank, particularly, do we? We can only go to size thirty. How big are these things? No, I think that's okay because they don't take up any space. These are pretty. These are pretty small, and you can only have one of them anyway. So I think that's okay. So we just have a couple of these slightly smaller wall tanks, like so. Them. Do we have them in line with the stairs? I think we go one back from the stairs each side. I want to open it up and give them some some space, and we can have some seating areas either side here, some some bits and pieces from shops and stuff. Going like that on the walls. Stand over here. Still got plenty of money as well in the kitty, which is good. Right, so let's just test the theory out then. So I'm. It's these two, isn't it? So it's the mantis shrimp into there. Actually, I'm going to put him in there. Along with. Some of those. And then what they're going to need is quite a lot. So. That is, that is, zoo, that is zooplankton, I believe. Uh, it is krill. Actually, no, krill is the other side, isn't it? It's not that one. It is one of the other ones. It is cra crab. Uh, where is crab? Crab. And supplements. There we go. Look, we can do it. What also needs to go with it is... Do I find it in here? A supplement manual dispenser. So we need to find whoever the best person is down here for feeding. Okay, any advances on three? Four. Four, okay. So it probably needs to be you. So that which is... Do I do I risk doing doing this? I think I do. It doesn't matter. Though. It's kind of annoying that I don't actually have to do that, but I'm doing it just because 
feel like I should, you know? Right. That's fine. Verity, I've just given you the yes, you can do that. And you're having the thing. Lexi, you are a... I mean, what have I even put you on? Have I put you on... Oh, you're my... Yeah, okay, that's fine. You're my... You're my cleaner and restocker person, aren't you? Yeah, that's fine. A bit of a brain moment, a bit of a moment there. Turn that off. That was what I just did. It was Lucy. Um... You are a... You're a fixer, aren't you? So that is fine. Yes. Yes, it is. Ashley. Turn that one off. Or is it worth... It might be worth having two people do this, you know. Who was my, who was my other four feeder? You, wasn't it? You can also do it. And I'll give you... I'll put another one of those out for you as well. Okay. That's fine. And I'm going to put in another supplement manual dispenser there so that they can both have one, so they can both be available to do supplements because they take ages to do so. Those of you who haven't seen this game before, when you do supplements, they take ages. So having someone who's highly skilled and who has that book drastically reduces the time it takes for them to complete uh, their, their job. I'm going to see if I can do both tanks with one pump here. Looks like I can, comfortably so. Nice, okay. Uh, you need... Oh, we're running out of money, so this is good. We can do we can do one of them, which is fine. Like so. And they need lights. How much light do they need? They need tents, they need power lights. And how much might they be? 150 a corner, is it? Oh, no, of course it's the fucking end of the day. And now I have no damn money. Come on, give me some money, quickly. There we go, so they've picked up a book. They've now picked up a book as well, and look, see how fast this goes. Yeah, look how rapid that is, that's quality. Love that, good, good, good. Right, come on, hurry up and get me some money. If it's 150 a corner, that's I need 600. Get me to 600, that's right, halfway there. Come on, come on. Nearly there, nearly there. Get me to 600. Get me over the line. There we go. Right. And everybody is happy. We're going to put in some walls along the side there. Like so. Okay, that looks all gravy. Can we put anything else in there? Tank looks a little bland for my liking. I don't know. Put some more stuff in this one and make this one even, even better. Okay, right. So that's those two done. I need to guard on those two off. Like so. And then, what's we got going on here? Yes, more. Oh, right, died. How quickly did that die? Jesus Christ. Not even a day before one of them died.
Right, okay. Uh, camouflage door. Paint it. And effectively, all that's going to be over that side is their feet, their feed. Uh, so let's go back to what's not in there, which is going to be. Uh, do these things grow? They don't. Days until growth. Decreases by one each day that require, all requirements are met will grow into an adorned decorator crab after seven days. What? The territorial creatures as well. I don't know whether that means that they, like how big they get or they just change completely. I don't really understand what that means. Uh, however, supplements are also required for that, but that's fine. They can walk that over. And what else were we going to stick in there? We were going to stick in a couple of those crabs over there. And I'm just checking one more time. It's a crustacean. They're also a crustacean, so they shouldn't feed on each other. They should be fine. They should be friends. Is your problem it needs to be with at least one soft coral? That's a soft coral, is it? All right, you can have a couple of disco mushrooms in there, but that means we're gonna have to put some light in there as well. Like so. So we now need we now need krill as well. Come on, I'm just forever chasing money. <laughs> Come on, let me put it down. Is it 500? Is what I think most of them are. No, it's more than 500. And now I've got no money. God damn it. How much was it? Oh, 1,050. It's quite expensive, that one. Chuck a little ch cheeky protein skimmer on that to sort out the uh, the water quality on, on these two ones. Again, once... So actually, have I got any protein skimmers left? I feel like maybe I had some left from earlier. Or have I used them all? No, uh, I've still got one left. That's huge memory from Welch. Love that from you. <laughs> okay. Well, I need a thousand to get that krill, otherwise things are going to start dying. Because as we found out, things die very, very quickly. Get me over a thousand quickly, otherwise they're going to die. Just realise it actually says down the bottom how much it is. 1,050 krill dispenser down the bottom. Right, if we can get all that in. We could also, we also need a door this side as well, don't we really? Might put it there actually when it's, uh, when I've got enough money. Come on, almost there, almost there. There we go. And I'm also going to put in a... door here. Just going to have some quicker movement around of things. <gasps> okay, that's good. Right, so that's that bit done. And now what I want to do is just sort of decorate. I need to decorate this a bit more. Put some stuff around here. And then this area here will be my my big uh, my big uh, my big tank again. Which is fine. We'll, we'll sort that out. And the door, door placement is going to have to move slightly there, which is absolutely fine. Okay, right, how are we doing over here? Are they are they all still happy? They're still happy at the moment. If they could just, you know, calm the shagging down a little bit, that would be good.
Right, we're going to let the money build up a little bit. We've now unlocked all of the ecology things for this rank. How close are we to the actual rank? We're still a little way away. Which is... Okay, I mean, that's, that's okay. We're going to start thinking about putting some arrows down to now push people through. What would be really, really nice is if there, if there was an option to hide these floor arrows, because they do make they do make the um, they do make it look really quite rubbish, <laughs> don't they? Uh, but I must say, overall, I am pretty pleased with how this is looking. I am pretty damn pleased. So the plan for the rest of this episode, if I can squeeze in, if I can get enough money together quickly enough, is to basically put down things like another toilet and some more seats and some machines. Um, and then we will uh, we will finish up the episode there. I think this one again, we've made some fairly... It's, it's weird, isn't it? We seem to have one episode where we do some rather big builds, and then the next episode we kind of do very smaller changes. And this one has been a slightly bigger one. Right, so the Chichlid Fries died of natural causes. They didn't, they didn't uh, make it. Can't say I'm massively against that, just because of the overcrowding uh, issue that that tank is going to have pretty darn soon. One thing we could also think about doing as well is having much... Uh, it's 2.30 and 1.08. We could think about having... We can't really have it there, can we? Just because of where it is. Uh, where do we, do we have it? Can we have that on there? Can't have that there either. Kind of irritating. Well, there's not really enough space in between here, is there? It's just kind of in the. It's just kind of in the middle, isn't it? bugs me <laughs> that there's literally no room for anything going through there. Well, I suppose you've got three avenues with which to pass. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. I will probably move that. When things get start getting lit a little busier, I think I will probably end up moving that. Right, there's too much ling there's too much lingering around up here. I don't like it. Get a move on. Right, how are we doing on monies? I used to do all of these things. I mean, they're not. To be fair, they're not huge amounts of money, which is which is okay. They're 120. That's 260. That's 460. Um, that's another 560, 680. So we're talking, we need we need about I don't know I think a thousand maybe give or take to get everything done. So we're all, we're not far off there. But the problem is is I'm about to um, about to hit the end of the day. Let's get near the end of the day and then I'm going to pause and just spend the money. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. Right, that should now be enough. Right, let's uh, let's put in some chairs. We're gonna we're gonna make these corners like so. Uh, we'll have we're gonna paint them as well.
Did I paint all of the... Um, I did paint them all up there, didn't I? Uh, okay, and then we need... One each of those there. Where's me bins? Which on this occasion. Yeah, there's no bins you can't paint those, but these ones you can, so. Set those there like that. They can be painted. Nice little area there. This one, this area over here is looking a little bit on the bland side. I might actually just tighten this up. Just don't actually think it needs to be quite that wide. Also, we are going to need another toilet. The other side here, aren't we? We're going to need another toilet. Where do we put it? Now, bearing in mind, there's going to be another bloody great big tank that's going to go here before too long. Um, let me just try and work out roughly where this would go. Put it sort of there like that. Okay. In which case, I think just for the time being, we're just gonna be we're just gonna be boring and we're just gonna stick it here on the corner. But that will that will move once I put the new the new tank in. That's, that won't, that will not stay there. Uh, can anything go over here? We can probably put in some uh, some of these down. Uh, we got the. I mean, I don't know why you would need guidebooks at this stage, but <clears throat> the, I suppose the aquarium is still going to be a lot larger going forward. There's going to be plenty more to to see over the course of time. Uh, so there we have it. Unless I can put in some decorations over here, perhaps. Maybe what we oh, I've got. I've had a, I've had a brainwave, people. Maybe what we can do. is create ourselves a little cordoned off area and we'll just fill it with, with decorations. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to wait for that. Let's 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 delete that. We'll 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 figure that one out next time. We're gonna fill we're gonna fill that with decorations and make that like a little corner uh, which we can fill with chests and gates and other bits and pieces ship railings nets we'll make that a whole a whole thing maybe some more sort of broken columns and greek stuff over there as well the greek vase yeah well, we've, we've got some plans over there that's fine in the next episode we are going to build our next super tank so our next bridge tank which will just be uh, full of all four of those that is going to be probably our centerpiece tank of the aquarium so far just by the sheer range of species that are going to have in there the size of them and everything like that that's going to be our biggest and best yet um but yeah i think this is coming along nicely so i appreciate you guys watching appreciate those that have commented let me know your thoughts as always in the comments down below make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you ring the notification bell and i'll see you all next time in episode number six